All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Now, what are we doing? Steel Mall. Ah, uh, yes, we were going to create power poles. I do believe. I'm super excited about these large steel pylons. I'm not ready for substations, but we can get medium steel poles and large steel pylons, and that will help us clean up a lot of this electrical madness. Okay, let's do both these bad boys right now. No time to waste, right? Because I didn't have anything else I needed to do. Yep. Power poles it is. Uh, and we can put them right above the heavy copper cables. Yeah, we can put them right, right above. No need. Honest. Oh yeah, no, I do want this belt. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop rethinking what I've already decided. Relitigating past cases. Steel rods, steel beams, and then heavy copper cable on the same line as the steel beams, so that we can take them all off like that, and then we can. Let's see. What was it rods ah, and copper cables so yeah we'll do something like uh, rods and then let's see I'm going to need to get steel into this one and then copper cables into this one and this might be the way to do it right this might be the way to do it, yeah? Because then I can end this belt with the option to do an underground past this inserter. And that'll be just fine. Small iron pole will power everything nicely. And we just need to figure out how to get... Let's cram this in. Oh, and then I need to figure out the... Um, the outputs, of course. Uh, do I want to do what I did? Should we review what we've done our mall? Let's like think about this a little. So we have a nice little bit right here. We curved these belts around kind of vertically and then had these two output here. All right. This is intermediates that go here. That's not really producing anything except I guess the steam pipes. <laughs> that was a, quite the hack. Uh, okay, now what do we do here? We have everything we need in a row vertically, and then the pipes are kind of, or sorry, the belts are kind of a little spaghetti, uh, mostly vertically to get where they need to go. We have it, this copper coming around back, the pistons coming around back. We had to add more pistons here. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, we just added this red belt with kind of the same philosophy, kind of curving these belts of raw materials from our bus vertically. Okay, and then we did something a little different past the science, past the intermediate, well, that's science intermediates. These are the intermediates for the main iron bus. This is kind of our second mall. I said iron bus, I meant iron mall. This is kind of our second mall. Two out of three, no, two out of four, we're going to have four malls by the time we finish this and i'm just noticing our brass finished i'm bugging everyone by not clicking t and then clicking t again okay and this one we kind of tried something else kind of tried to build a little more horizontally so we stretched these belts out more horizontally but then i wanted to get it all over to the belt on the or the excuse me the path on the left side so i had to belt all of these products over to the left and I don't like that <laughs> I don't like that do I like it I do not um, now this ended up I mean how many products are, do we have 10 ish 15 20 25 maybe 30, 25 to 30 products um, and so 25 product 25 to 30 products in this space and then let's go down here and here we have about like 
10 products. Uh, and we're taking up the vertical space is really what I care about. I would love to not have to walk around. Yeah, we're taking up maybe 50% more space. And we're only doing about 10 products, really. Let's see. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you include the red belts, uh, 12. And if you include the red belts, I think we're taking up the same vertical space pretty much. So, I mean, this is more compact, uh, despite being more ugly. So, anyways, I think um, on our third mall, we are going to try something different. We are going to try, instead of doing this path, keeping this path here, I'm going to run another path horizontally. Intriguing, I know. So, let's go ahead... Um, I'm not sure I wanted to do that because, well, I think that should be plenty of space. I think that should be plenty of space. I don't want to box us into a corner here. But, uh, yeah, we'll be able to cram in a bunch of horizontal belts to feed a bunch of these assemblers in this area. And then they'll output up here. Do I want a lot? I don't need a lot of power poles. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. I think I like this considerably better. Well, not considerably. It's just a different different kind of idea. Uh, and we will find out. Again, we're going to have um, pretty much four distinct, uh, four distinct malls by the time we're finished with this playthrough. The final mall is going to be bot-based for all, uh, the really complex, annoying endgame products that we need. Um, so that's going to be logistically fairly straightforward. There's not going to be much belt weaving madness going on like there has been. So we'll have kind of three philosophies. You guys decide which one you like best. I think we're going to discover that this is going to work pretty nicely. I mean, it's going to require us whenever we want stuff, instead of just driving along this belt the whole way down, we're going to have to cut sideways. But I think that's a small price to pay. And then we'll be able to utilize more of this dead space to the east of our bus which is ideal I would say and if we need to expand it'll be easy because we can always expand east even when we build you know purple science to the north uh, we'll still be able to expand our mall okay enough talking let's turn this on see if we actually get power poles I should have turned it on um, and then talked while we were waiting for the power poles to actually craft but you know whatever we said we were going to want heavy copper cables going this way and then we need steel beams I feel like I haven't uh, done this trick enough let's see it's gonna work like that uh, with the underground blocking the left side of the belt and pushing these steel beams to the east. Good. Very nice. I love that trick. There is no downside. And if I put this down, it should all connect. Cool. So now we have some good stuff going on there. Excellent. We just need copper on the bottom. We will respect the... Oops. <laughs> darn autosave. Messed everything up. We'll respect the path this time. I have a bad habit of just doing that. Nope, not green circuits. I have a bad habit of just doing that, don't I? Let's see. Is that good? Yes. And then that's four wide. 
Very good. Very good. Uh, and we can't just do that. We also need... This. Which is quite straightforward. Just need power. Okay, and then let's light this bad boy up. I like the large lamps when I can use them. And this is going to be a great place to use large lamps. We're going to have lots of space. Actually, we're not going to have lots of space, are we? Eventually, we may need to replace that with a small lamp. Kind of compact this down a little bit. Uh, wow. This... Oh my gosh. These make so freaking fast. Let's go. Let's see. When I want large pylons, I might need a lot of them. And when I need these, they stack to 100. 300 should be plenty. And okay, we are going to go ahead and never use these again the medium yeah you want to compare the ingredients medium steel power uses two steel beams two copper wires small iron pole uses one iron beam one copper wire so the steel beams and iron beams we looked at last episode they use basically the exact same raw ingredients a little extra coal a little extra power otherwise exact same raw ingredients so this is just twice the ingredients basically as the small iron pole uh negligible when you consider we're gonna have to use a lot less of them let's go ahead and see what happens yep it's working as intended and there was there were a couple things down here that i immediately did and was like this would be a lot better if i could just replace that what do you know what do you know what do you know and now i can add a lamp down there like that and everything's happy everything's so happy I could do pylons like this in fact I don't want to do that I want to do pylons over here oh my goodness this is gonna be super easy Ooh, let's do this smart like upgrade will that automatically obviously it will do the belts as well we only want the large wooden poles to upgrade to the large steel pylons and we can go ahead and do it pretty much everywhere all i'm going to have to do i believe is delete this one and it will connect it will miss those that um what's it called floor lamp it will miss the floor lamp but uh small price to pay uh, how do I get this to oh my gosh it reaches so far <laughs> it reaches so far I can't believe how far it reaches can't believe we've been using those darn wooden poles these worthless pieces of junk and a floor lamp which for whatever reason I don't have hotkey. I guess I don't use them very much. Ooh, and we can use floor lamps right here. Ah, but we're gonna need to power them. We'll wait for substations, how about? Let's make this covered. As is tradition. Tradition. Fill up on the poles. This is so awesome. And let's go dump our bad poles in a place where we will never see them again. Like, what is this doing here? <sighs> it feels good. I'm telling you. feels good, you guys. It was so easy, right? It took like five minutes. I spent way more time explaining. Oh, yeah. I spent way more time explaining what I was going to do. Than I actually spent doing it. Huh? Did I put power poles in here? I did. Wow, we have so many power poles to get rid of. I can't even. Can't even. Like I can't even, you guys. Undergrounds. Undergrounds. <laughs> All right, dump the power poles. That'll help. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> Couldn't even put them in the chest. Let's see. Got all those. Got all those. Good. Oh boy. These are all the small iron poles. And the large wooden poles we're going to have to walk over and stick them. Wait, small iron poles. I thought I... I'm confused. What did I do wrong? I thought for sure I had large wooden poles now. Wow, okay, I'm just confused. I guess I had extra... Oh, no. I, oh, I replaced it. That's what I did. Okay. I put the large wooden pole in the chest, replacing it with the small wooden pole. Which, who cares at this point? But it'd be nice to get that shorted out. All right, let's see. Does this need more steam pipes? No. This most definitely did not. All right, what do I have in here? Can't fit that. Good. We need to put the power poles. That's what I'm doing. Power poles. Power poles. Power poles. I'm reminded of the office quote when Michael Scott goes, PowerPoint, PowerPoint, PowerPoint. Tin pallet. Uh, let's see. We can't destroy things now, can we? But we can build a scrapping machine. We can't. We'll just handcraft some iron gears real fast. Destroy items to produce scrap. Uh, a lot of you would have made this a priority. <laughs> um... Well, uh, I can't leave it. I can't leave it. I can't leave it. Whoa, that just connects everywhere. Why does that connect to everything? <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Well, this is a mess. How do I... <laughs> I don't really like the power lines everywhere. How do I fix that? Can't insert large wooden pole. Interesting. Why do they always do that? Why did I think they uh, tried to only do one? Oh, oh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Power lines are everywhere. <laughs> Maybe we'll clean it up in another hour-long episode where nothing happens. Okay, okay, okay. I need to dump stuff. I need to dump stuff. But what should I dump? Um... Yeah, I don't want any of this stuff in my heavy roller. Let's just uh, leave the pots behind, I think, until we dump. Well, uh, maybe I do have some random stuff. Can I? No, I don't. I'm not gonna have any of that. Do I have any of this? Oh, come on! Give me something to dump. Dump away, sir. Okay, okay. Getting close, getting close. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> can't do anything, can't do anything, but I have some of that, right? Yeah, I have some of that. And then iron will be able to get rid of here. And then bronze will be able to get rid of here. Okay, we've cleared a little, little room. Little room in our inventory. What are my bots doing? Who knows? Okay, where was I? I've totally forgotten what we we're gonna do. I guess come down and replace some of these power poles? Clear out the junk in our inventory? Maybe get more junk into our inventory? <laughs> what? what are we doing here? We got a lot of steam miners. Uh, we need electric miners, don't we? We got the scrapping machine. Maybe I'll figure that out. We have turbines automated anywhere? Maybe we don't. We don't have turbines automated anywhere. Oh, we need more loaders, don't we? 
Fast loaders require small iron frames, small iron frames, iron gears. Ooh, let's just take care of some of this stuff. But I had enough stackers for everything I needed, right? Yeah. I had just the right number of loaders and stackers. Okay, uh, sorry, small iron frames. Which are kind of a pain to grab because I never know which side of the belt they're on. They're on this side. Okay. Now we could grab iron pistons and iron gears. Let's see. What do we need gears in? Probably pistons. And motors. Alright. That'll do the trick. Just didn't want to run out of those unexpectedly and then have to deal with it. Ah, here are my turbines. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to need any more turbines in this game. I think we're going to try to get by purely on... Petrochemical generators, that's what they're called. Alright. Can't handle this stuff, though. Wait, I don't need that. <laughs> it's just doing nothing. I do need that. And I can clear this up. Some of you are like, this is the thing you're cleaning up? Like, you are leaving these cliffs here, huh? But you're not cleaning up any of this other stuff? All right, where can this go? Good. All right, and we said we were going to do the Floor lamps. Seriously? 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 Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. What can I... What can I do here? What can I do? Uh, where am I... Darn... Oh, I thought I was going to be able to... Do something. I don't have any of that. I don't have... Oh, it's hard for me to see what I have. Do I have any of that? No. Do I have any of this? Yes. Oh, but I still can't. <laughs> okay, now I can click on my inventory. Control click on my inventory and that will put everything that I don't want into the assembly that I need my inserter zone. Yeah, definitely don't want wood. I kind of want a stack of that. And I think that'll have to do. It's pretty clear. Okay, uh, large floor lamps. Good, I wanted to walk down this way anyways because I don't have any large floor lamps. Ah, I was putting small lamps here. But yeah, what I'd rather do is underground. <laughs> underground, baby, let's go. And the floor lamps, we can temporarily... Am I not picking up floor... I am picking up floor lamps. I just have extra slots. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to use my hotkey. Okay. And then I can't use my hotkey. For <sighs> Darn. Let's see. I don't need that there. Do I even need this here? I mean, I probably don't need need. But... Need need. Just depends on your perspective. Like, I don't need to, but I do need to. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. Getting the hang of this hotkey thing. If only I had put this thing 
Oh, and I had already tried that. <laughs> oh, right, that was the one that I got my inventory all discombobulated on. I wonder if that transport belt is just sitting on the ground somewhere. Let's see, that reaches all the way up there, huh? These things are pretty long. I love it. I love it. Cool. Okay, floor lamp's done. Get my heavy roller, go get the power poles, and I guess keep working on that mall, huh? Oh, I spent 10 minutes doing that crap. Man, this game's crazy. Spend five minutes getting power poles, and then spend 10 minutes putting them down in the most useless, you know, fixing something that's not broken. Right? <laughs> I didn't need to fix it. It was fine. Okay, but let's see here. We got power poles. Still need substations. Maybe I'll put substations down here. It would be nice to, let's see, figure out what we need for substations. Leave room. Of course, that's not where substations are. Small steel frames, junction boxes. Ugh. Junction boxes. I forget. Do I want junction boxes on the thing? Yeah, we need red circuits. And small steel frames. And the substations use small steel frames and junction boxes. So probably we don't need junction boxes on a belt. Let's find out though. It's complex, right? Complex. Alright, from the beginning. Substations. We want, for sure. Accumulators. Are we going to use solar? Uh, we might just do nuclear. Do beacons we're going to want a lot of. Actually, we don't really need that many beacons. Uh, we can't use productivity modules on a lot of this stuff in Industrial Revolution 3. And that means we don't need beacons. Um, because beacons are really only useful when you use productivity modules. If you're not using productivity modules, you can just build more assemblers. And we, we're not going to do a mega base, so I don't really need to worry about UPS. Okay, photonic cannons we're going to need a lot of. L Quantum labs are a pain to make, but we won't need a lot of. Solar super magnets, arc furnaces. I don't know if we're going to do arc furnaces in this run through. They do help. So substations, yes. But that's it. So, oh no, photonic cannons. And we'll want plenty of those. Actually, no, we're not going to use them for defense. Yeah, maybe we don't need junction boxes. I'll just put junction boxes, like, here. I'll go ahead and mark what I'm going to do. How about junction boxes need red circuits, small steel frames. Uh, so we're going to want red circuits and small steel frames on, like, a belt like that. And heavy copper cables. We'll need heavy copper cables. And then steel rods. Yes. Does this need steel rods? I think it did. No, it did not. But, like, that's everything, right? Junction boxes. And let's do this. We'll put this over here. And do something like so. With a pallet. We'll use that pallet. And that way, if we need junction boxes for the labs, for the beacons, for whatever we need, we'll just come grab a, a stack of them or two. And then probably just handcraft whatever we need or just feed them into whatever we need. Okay, cool. Uh, I like this plan. And we're pretty much almost ready for that. The small steel frames are not too bad to make. It's just the red circuits. So as soon as we do red circuits, we can get substations up and running. Cool. Uh, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Why not? And so that we don't have to do not hat oh yeah of course I don't have small iron poles. Why would I have small iron poles? Isn't that nice? Everything just reaches. Okay, but I'm gonna quickly fill up my inventory replacing small iron poles and large wooden poles, aren't I? That's the only downside. Okay, so good. We got substations automated, even though we can't build substations. Here, let's suck in some of these heavy copper cables, too, while we're at it. Uh, awesome. 
I love the reach of the medium steel poles. What an upgrade. What a fantastic upgrade. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and delete that. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's go fast inserters. Let's go, baby. Green circuits, advanced motors, steel pistons. So let's add the steel piston line. Oh, yeah, we're already going to demolish that. We got this lamp now, so we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll do that and that and that. And let's see, what's going on this one again? It's something like small steel frames and red circuits. So we are going to need, uh, yeah, we need to do that and pull with a red inserter and pull with a red inserter here. Okay, so lamp will go there. Good, 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 good. Well, kind of nice to have a lamp over on the far end. Okay, cool. Let's see here. We got... What did I say we got? Uh, red circuits. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be a bit of a pain. I mean, we could, like, plan on... <laughs> How much weaving do we want to do here? Like, a lot of weaving? Let's do a lot of weaving. This is my wonderful idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. And then, oh, I'm just doing that all wrong. I love when it's morning time and it gets dark because all the lights go out. <laughs> okay, so good. Red circuits and small frames will be easy to put there. Is this gonna confuse me? Probably not, I think we'll be okay. And now we can just do, yeah, we'll just do that. I was thinking about saving some room vertically, which honestly, yeah, let's just do that. Probably a good idea, right? Because I've already committed to building this out this way, which means a lot of these belts are gonna run horizontally. If I can do this, it's output there. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> okay, all right. Heavy roller, help a brother out. Help a brother out, won't you? Power pole, power pole, power pole. Oh, I'm getting a lot of those, baby. And that was a tin, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't need. <laughs> We don't need that many substations. Well, we will need, oh, 50 or 100, 50 or 100, I don't know. Oh, we have all that science where my lab's pretty close, right? Faster to drive, faster to walk, who knows? No, if I dodge the cliffs, it's faster to drive, that's for sure. Or maybe I should say, unless I dodge the cliffs. Unless I, you know, whatever, whatever I'm trying to say. Were there any researches we really wanted? Um, I don't want to get stuff that I can't make right now. Ah, but we will be able to make stuff like the advanced assemblers. Sure. I'm thinking it might be time to make a bigger buffer of red and green science too, maybe. It is nice to research really quickly whenever I want to. Again, that's made possible by having a buffer of science or analysis packs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, should I go put... Do I like having that stuff to handcraft? I don't, do I? Um, what am I doing? I'll just go ahead and dump it in the inserter. So let's see, fast inserter and 
fast filter inserter. It'll work like this. Steel rods again. I like it. Easy peasy. No steel rods here, right? No steel rods there. Those can reach nice and far, nice and far. And we can do something nice like a large lamp. And we just need green circuits. Oop, we're going the wrong way there. Green circuits. And then this belt right here. Right there. And then green circuits. Ah, which I'm going to have to... <laughs> going to have to duck in here, aren't I? Because that inserter won't reach. Alright. Use my bots to their fullest potential here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hotkey, baby. Number one, number three. Now, do I want to... Ah, humbug. <laughs> How do I do this? Uh, cut it down? Like, replace... Replace that. <laughs> I think what some people do is... Um, use these splitters to uh, filter... So, like, I could put, say, green circuits, switch. That, maybe it's hard to explain. Let's just see what happens. Green circuits to go on the nope, on the right side. And then what happens? Okay, it does maintain. Let's just see what happens if I do like that or take it out. I think I'm, what I'm worried about is this. Yeah, okay, it doesn't. Yeah, I guess I could have guessed that. So it doesn't change the way these... Um, it doesn't change the lane. The motors and the pistons don't switch lanes or anything. So let's just do that. It's not something I ever do. I don't know why. I guess I'm scared something's going to get changed. Can you guys hear my dogs barking? Okay, I think they stopped barking. I really wanted you to hear that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh yeah. Wow, these inserters craft fast, huh? Now something I've found is that fast inserters are largely not super helpful. Um... All right, sorry, what do I do? I guess robo ports. Uh, fast inserter is not super helpful in Industrial Revolution 3. However, like we've seen, I think this is similar. Uh, like we've seen, there's not too much of an advantage to using standard inserters. The material cost is basically the same. It requires one extra rod and one extra piston but that's it. Like we've we've talked about it. The iron stuff is not um, more resource intensive than the steel stuff. So uh, now let's look at electricity. Um, let's see. Minimum consumption, half a kilowatt. Minimum consumption, yeah, four tenths of a kilowatt. Um, so the minimum consumption is not too different either. The maximum consumption is, but again, they're not going to be running. Yeah, it's really not because a fast inserter is going to be running half the time that a regular inserter would because it's twice as fast. So really, the in regular inserter would be at 18 kilowatts and the fast inserter would not be at 49.5, but rather 25 kilowatts. 
um, because again, it's only going to be running half the time as the regular inserter. So yeah, very cool. Uh, we're definitely going to uh, not need electric inserters at all now. Yeah, let's say that. We don't need electric inserters at all. Everything's going to be fast inserters and long-handed inserters. And the fast filter, I think we will only grab when we need them. They're kind of a special case, but um, yeah, we'll keep kind of a stack at all times. And uh, let's see. Add more concrete wherever it is. The path. Going strong. This has been a productive episode. Uh, this is a good place to end it, I think. Um, inserters, power poles, done. Very exciting. Very exciting. Clear that technology queue for you guys. Um, that's it. Let's bask in the, in the glow. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.